And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. Hey there, good morning. The time is 6.43 on this Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, we are starting the day very mild and muggy with a live look outside here of Sky 5 in McAllen. You can see the traffic is very light at the corner of Jackson and Olana. No major delays are expected for your early morning commute. Let's go back to the map. I'll show you the current wind speeds. They are out of the south southeast anywhere between about 9 and 14 miles per hour. Notice we're gusting at near 20 mile per hour. Uh, in Westlaco this morning. However, as the day goes on, this is all going to change. It looks like the lower valley will remain a little breezy while the rest of the valley not so much. I'll show you that in a second. Right now, temperatures 69 degrees in Brownsville, 71 in McAllen, as well as here in Westlaco. And good morning to you in Harlingen. You're waking up to 70 degrees. Your dew point value 66. Let's put that on the first one five muggy meter. See where we're at. Well, we're in the middle to the upper portion of the muggy category, and that's where we're going to stay today. You'll feel the muggy especially in the upper valley. However, the lower valley, it, you'll still be noticeable, but not so much just because of the breeziness that you have to contend with. So right now, the first one five satellite and radar showing the cloud cover beginning to thicken up. And when we look at the water vapor imagery, this shows moisture in terms of blue moving into the valley. Drier air is brown and notice the dry air moves out of the valley. And all of a sudden, here we go. There's that moisture creeping in. So we are going to see the clouds thicken up. But as far as rain, it looks like we're on the dry side. Zooming out and looking across the Lone Star State, notice to the north and east just exiting Dallas, a line of thunderstorms there moving to the north and east. But However, this cold front draped all the way down into South Texas. Really not going to do much for us today, but it will bring us a wind shift. So let me show you where that'll happen. Using future track, we've put the clock in motion starting at six. Notice that it's mainly in the upper valley today. So we're looking at mainly over Star County. You'll start to see that west to northwest wind shift today, but it's going to remain relatively light. So you really don't have that breeziness to contend with. However, notice the lower valley and especially along the coast, there are tinges of yellow there. So we will see wind speeds up to near 20 miles per hour today. However, the wind gusts will be stronger near 30 miles per hour. As the day goes on, we're still dealing with the light northwest wind in the upper valley, lower valley still out of the southeast. So it's still going to pump in a lot of that moisture, even for the upper valley. And really, that northwest wind is very, very short lived. It's a very weak cold front, not really going to do anything but bring that wind shift. And by later on tonight, we're all back out of the southeast. Now ahead of that boundary, because of the strong winds building along the coast, there is a small craft advisory for the Gulf waters through noon. Mariners on the bay, you should use caution. There will be a moderate chop out there. High tide for you fishermen is at 718 later on tonight. There will be another cold front moving into the valley over the next few days. It will bring a brief cool down and also some isolated to scattered showers starting tomorrow all the way through about Thursday. And it looks like Wednesday and Thursday look to be the better days for the rain chances. By the time we roll into the weekend, it will be dry. We do have a slight cool down because of another cold front, but it's really not going to bring any rain, just a slight temperature dip. Here we go, 84 degrees today, partly sunny. Remember, it's going to be breezy in the lower valley and along the coast, upper valley, not so much. Later on tonight, the clouds will thicken back up. 68 degrees will be your overnight low with a few showers possible. Here's your first one five seven day forecast. We'll be at 80 degrees tomorrow and then here comes the cool down. It's a very, very brief one. We'll be near 72 and cloudy with a few showers around for a midweek. As we roll into Thursday, we have a few more showers, possibly even a thunderstorm is possible. We'll be right around 79 degrees before we head back to the lower 80s and we dry out the forecast by Friday. Heading into the weekend, it's a very warm start near 87 degrees, but then that cold front will roll through. It doesn't bring much rain. In fact, we're going to stay dry, but it will bring milder weather with 75 as your daytime high and it will be rather breezy. That's your updated first one five forecast.